Hello there! I know it sounds like I'm in an auditorium right now, however that's simply because my microphone is broken and I have to use my cell phone. Anyway, two months ago I created my last evolution simulator video. Despite not posting any updates since, I actually did do a little bit of work on it. In the week or so after my last video, I managed to add a few key features including body damage and food spawn creation. Last weekend, I opened the project up again and I decided to work on it some more. I did not particularly want to work with neural networks at first, more so because everyone else had already posted videos about them, and I honestly believed my scripting language technique was a bit more unique. However, after not really getting any results, I finally made the switch. I whipped up a tiny neural networks library and spent the next few hours rewriting all the relevant code to use it. The current clip you're watching was actually the first test run after adding in neural networks. It had run for approximately half an hour, and you can see in parts of the videos that creatures will sometimes stop moving if they see another creature, food pellet, or egg. I really have no idea how this behavior could possibly be beneficial, but it does at least demonstrate that the neural networks are running and can actually affect behavior. As it stands, all other behavior appears to be random. They move around randomly, they look around randomly, and it's really rather hard to tell if they are waiting for a certain criteria before they give birth, but I highly doubt it. Many creatures die as soon as they give birth. This clip right here is just a fairly extreme example of that behavior I was talking about. Here, I've actually tweaked a few values and restarted the simulation. This is a fresh start with newly generated random creatures. As the graph at the bottom shows, the creature count starts at 250, goes down to the minimum of 50, which I've set in the options, as you can see, and then shoots back up to over 300. This is probably the result of the best creatures winning out over the worst, that is to say, some very early evolution. The behavior seems random, however. And, as with the previous example, they appear to slow down or completely stop as they approach food. This next clip is a continuation of the last. I have since divided the map into two sides using the build wall tool. On the right hand side of the wall, the creatures have developed some interesting behavior. They tend to start moving up and to the left when they're born, only to reverse their direction as they get older. As opposed to most of the other creatures that have their direction influenced by sight, it appears that age is the primary influencing factor for the directions that these creatures move in. The creatures on the left hand side of the wall are not particularly interesting. Here, I have restarted the simulation yet again. I figured that it would be better to have the output nodes for movement and sight represent the change in the angle, rather than the absolute values. Most creatures spin and look in circles, yet some do indeed manage to move about. A few minutes later, and we still have circular movement in sight, however it's been slowed down quite a bit. And you could almost swear that the creatures might be reacting to the presence of food, but it is very hard to tell. It's also worth mentioning that between the last few runs, I have changed the dimensions of the neural network a few times. The creatures originally had 15 layers and nodes with 15 nodes each, for a total of almost 4,000 connections. This proved absolutely infeasible in terms of just processing power required to simulate it for hundreds of creatures, you know, many frames per second. But also, it's ridiculously difficult to train such a network. So it was originally reduced to one 15 node layer and then increased again to 10, two 10 node layers, which is what it is now. You can change the neural network settings in the preferences file. And finally, we have come to the end station of this particular video. The creatures have developed long flat bodies to help scoop up as much food as possible and protect their heads. They have mastered the ability to seek out food and move towards it and they wait to give birth until they have ample food for themselves and are decent at avoiding flying off the map and being killed. I'll probably be making up a follow-up video where I explain the neural, how the neural network is implemented and explain new features of the program and possibly even release 
a uh, very early version of it. But the main takeaway of this particular video is that I really should have tried out neural networks a long time ago. They're really neat things. I hope you enjoyed this video and tune in next time. Thank you.